Ever since I found out I was pregnant with another girl, I've had this dream in my head of our two little girls sharing a bedroom and what that would look like. We recently took the leap of transitioning our youngest into a big girl bed. So today we get to take that idea in my head and make it happen. Reminder to like this video if you like this video and subscribe and check out the other room makeovers on my channel. Now let's get started. The footage that you are seeing is the only footage I have from when we moved into this house. We've now been here about two and a half years. So I thought I'd give you some history of the room. Personally, I love seeing the history of what a space has been. And this lime green was two owners ago. It looks like maybe a guest slash office. And this was the owner right before us. They were using it as a guest room. So to catch you up, this room has seen a lot of transitioning even since we've been here. When we first moved in, we had all of our doors painted white and we changed out all the trim so that instantly brightened things up. Today we're doing the floral mural for the girl's room. So this was almost exactly two years ago that my dad and I hung this up and what started my peel and stick wallpaper obsession. I knew I wanted this big floral accent wall in the room, something that I always pictured. This took us a few hours to do, but I am still so obsessed and attached to this wallpaper that I did not want to take it down. So that is something that will definitely be staying. And as you can see, my dad and I have always worked together so well. I am so helpful as he struggles there in the corner. So that brings us up to the present. This is where we are starting with today. The crib is leaving. We are going full on big girl makeover. I want to make this fun and functional for both of our girls. Everything that you are seeing me take out of the room, I either donated, put somewhere else in our house, or sold on Facebook Marketplace and used those funds to put back into the room. I really wanted things to be toddler friendly, matching and symmetrical on both sides, but for the girls to have each of their own touches on their beds. So I went with these bed frames from Ikea. They are the men in ones. I will link anything in this video down below. They're really cool because they are extendable. We are gonna be using them at their full length, which is a twin size, but you can go smaller and purchase the Ikea mattresses. I ended up finding some that were a better deal and had better reviews on Amazon. So that's what I went with. Also, our Ikea happened to be out of the bed slats that are sold with this bed. That saved me about $30 on each one. To make my own bed slats, I just cut some one by fours down and laid them out. This saved me about $50 in total. Okay, here's our first little look at what the bed's gonna be like. The girls are gonna be so excited. I think I'm gonna try them over here next to each other on the um, accent wall, just because I've always wanted that. But if it doesn't work, we can do side-by-side -side windows. This is changing this mattress. <laughs> I do not like this mattress. It's so insanely heavy. It's way thicker than we need. It honestly is so hard to make the bed just because I, I can't lift the mattress up to get around the corner. And then we don't have a mattress for the other bed because all Charlie's had so far is a little crib mattress. So I ordered two smaller mattresses. Basically, if you cut this in half, I just want the girls to be kind of cozy and down in it. Someone is coming tomorrow morning to take my crib that my babies grew up in. There's a lot of memories with this crib, but I'm thanking it for its service and sending it to somebody that needs it and hopefully gets a lot of use out of it. I forgot to mention the weird thing about this room makeover is that for whatever reason, I accidentally worked backwards. So you'll see me take everything out of the room and clean it. But then I started putting everything back into the room and I got it all ready. And then I decided I wanted to paint and do something to the wall. So if you're a little confused, so was I.
Day two of me working backwards, as you saw, I moved the dresser from our playroom over into the girls' closet, and I will show you the organization of that in my next cleaning video. Comment down below and let me know if you are a person that switches the rugs around in your house a lot. I feel like some people are like that and some people think that the others are crazy. I'm fine with people thinking I'm crazy. This rug was in our bedroom. My husband wasn't a really big fan of it, but I thought it would look so cute in this room. So I moved it over to the girls' room and put their rug in our bedroom for now. I also don't think it's crazy to put rugs down on top of carpet. I don't love the carpet in our house. It's pretty old. It's nothing special. I think that rugs really pull a room together and I much prefer the look than the carpet. So there's that. Come at me in the comments if you want to. So I'm moving this back putting the beds down and I'm trying to decide today if I'm gonna do something to this wall back here and then what I'm doing with this area up here. While brainstorming, I took on some other odd things around the room like organizing and curtains. Taking this baby up. I think I really like it here because it'll be fun for the girls to be able to see themselves at their level. They love dancing, and I think this little open area behind the mirror with the mirror will be their favorite thing. They can dance in here, we can have some parties. This screw is never going anywhere. Beautiful. Okay, I am excited because today is mattress day. The girls have actually been using their beds for a few days now. We've had our old mattress and this air mattress in here. So we're gonna give away our old mattress, stitch the air mattress. And I ordered two twin five inch mattresses off of Amazon, hoping these work out. Honestly, I love mattresses that come in boxes. They're so satisfying to open. And for the people that came for me in my bedroom makeover, these are clothes that we are storing under the bed. I have cleaned the full area. Under the bed, calm down. Today is paint day. Yes, I did this room in the worst way possible. I've done everything backwards. Now that I have everything in the room, I've decided I am gonna change the paint color on the walls. So paint, I am working with Pure White from Sherwin-Williams here. I'll show you what I'm doing with this later. This is romance and I'm very excited to see this. All right, I tried the beds on the floral wall and it did not leave enough space in the room. It was really awkward. So because I'm going to be putting them on a wall that wasn't that, I felt like this window wall needed some sort of accent or something to bring attention to it because it felt a little plain to me. So I bet you can guess what I am doing here, my tried and true go-to. This time I'm changing up the color and I went with something that I pulled from the shades in the wallpaper. You've probably seen me do this several times now, but for my board and batten walls, I typically go with a one by four across the top and one by three is down on the bottom part. If I'm gonna add in a little ledge, I'll do a one by two nailed onto the top. as I made it, I had to stop and go get my girls. So far, I'm having a little bit of first coat regret. I was definitely picturing a darker color, more of a color right here. It does match up with the wallpaper. I'm thinking once I get these walls less gray, like less blue gray, I will like it a little bit more. But we're gonna stop for now and we'll come back and finish it later.
white paint time. Just open this up and I am excited to get on the walls, get the gray off the walls with white. I feel like it's so hard to tell what the undertones are, what it's gonna look like in the room, but I can already tell this is an actual white compared to this, which claimed to be a tone of white, definitely looks very, very gray. Look at that difference. I need to do another coat around all the edges and then I'm gonna stop for the day and come back and finish this probably on my own. I was so excited to find these at Target today. I was trying to come up with a solution for how to hang up something on the wall that we need to get down frequently. These little clips that command strip onto the wall will make that possible. As always, I wanted to give you a little tour around the room so you can see everything up a little bit closer and some more details. Everything that I can link will be linked down below, but as you come in, we have Emerson. This is my oldest daughter's little uh, wardrobe nook. I don't know if we're going to add another one for Charlie or just somehow split this up soon, but Emmy's used to having it in here as it was just her room for a while. Char has her stuff in the closet now. Most of this is just Emmy's stuff. So we've got undies and socks, all of her leggings now that it's winter. In this little basket we've got pajamas. So these are the things we have out this week. This is what she wears most often. Up on the wall, I'm so glad that I found a way to hang this up because it's actually really, really cute here. I bought this from the Modern Cloth Company for Charlie for her birthday. This is a cloth that you can color on with washable markers or crayons and then you just throw it in the washing machine and it all comes off. And like I just showed you, it's really easy to get this down off of the wall. If I wanted to, we can take it downstairs and color. So I love that this is functional activity we can do, but it also can be artwork and decor. So that's this little side of the wall. That's the dirty clothes basket. And next to that is a little like getting ready station in the morning. This is what you see from the hallway into their room. Love the color of this giant mirror. This was from Home Goods. I got a little lamp in here for the morning time. The girls just hairbrushes so they can get ready themselves in the mirror. And then down below, we've got their pull-ups diapers, things that they can grab. The other reason this mirror is great is that this area is all open here now, so they love just like dancing around in this area because they can see themselves in the mirror. It's just been a lot of fun. So for the bedding, I didn't want to go dark, dark pink on the bedding. I tried to pull out something that was darker but would still go along with the pinks and greens. So I've got this kind of like I guess dusty rose, dark rosy color for this velvet quilt. It's actually a queen size. I just folded it up because they did not have a twin size and I liked the color so much. I was planning on getting a duvet cover, but with the quilt, you didn't really see it, so it didn't really matter to me. And then these sheets are from Target. This is the Opal House, little cute kind of golden accent in there. Pillow is home goods, a couple favorite stuffed animals, and this uh, pillow is world market. Do you like the symmetry? 
of it being between the window and the window being centered. These little name plates we had made before each of the girls were born. So the only thing in the room that I'm kind of questioning that I'm not in love with everything about it were the curtains. Off of the wall, like on their own, they look pretty white, pretty off, like just a slight off white. But for some reason when the window light hits them and they're against an actual, actual white, they look a little yellow to me. So it's just weird to me, like down here, I love the look. Away from the wall, not as big of a fan, but it's all right. So for the window itself, in every one of my recent makeover videos, I have changed out our blinds for this pull down shade. It is so affordable. I love the way that it filters light in. If you're looking for something really darkening, like room darkening, this is not for you. But I love how it makes the room look. They are also the most affordable little shades that you can find. You can actually cut them yourself at home with a knife. I use our saw to cut them, but they just stick up on the top here and they're cordless so they're a lot safer for the girls. I was happy to get the cords out of their room. Over here we've got the little table that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. This is the girls' sound machine and alarm. It also lets you select colors so the girls know when it is green in the morning they are allowed to get up out of bed. On Charlie's side of the room, identical bedding. Last minute addition to the room was this world map print from our playroom. It is absolutely adorable. I just think I might like it better back in the playroom and I'll have to figure out something else for the wall. If you have a suggestion, it's a really big blank wall. Lastly, I left these bookshelves exactly where they were. These are technically spice racks from Ikea. I just swap out these books every week for the girls or usually a couple times a week we have different books in here. When the seasons change, I'll swap these out for Christmas themed books. I love that we can switch that up really easily in here. And of course, our new lighting up on the ceiling. We've got a ceiling fan because it does get a little bit warmer in here during the summer. There you have it, our girl's new room with a lot of the old elements still tied in there. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part was. If you are new, subscribe and stick around. I've got several makeover videos up on my channel right now and a lot coming your way. Check out my Instagram link below for some sneak peeks of those. I will see you guys on Saturday for a whole house cleaning video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, happy cleaning. Bye.